So. <clears throat> okay, so uh, welcome. I'm quite tall in this one, you can only see all the floor. Okay, so Wuji standing posture to begin with. Heels out. That's it. So feet parallel if you can. It might feel a little bit weird if you've got um, any injuries that have caused your hips to kind of twist inwards, like I, I have. Okay, so head back and chin tucked. Okay, and then we just want to try and release the spine a little bit. So head back, chin tucked. So the antenna goes up and then everything sinking downwards. And extending outwards. Turn on the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. All three pads of your feet connected to the ground. So the ball of the foot, the little toe and the heel. We should feel fairly equal. Shoulders not forwards, but not back either. Somewhere in between. Let them drop down so you feel connected to your hips. Tailbone rolling ever so slightly underneath. Okay, good feeling the connection. So from the head, and then as the energy drops down, comes down through your head, through your neck, shoulders, elbows, wrist, hand, fingers, and beyond. And it travels further down your body, through the spine, between the hips, between the knees, between the ankles, and then into the feet. So we have our root. Soften as much as possible. Okay, and then we're just gonna lift the hands, keep the elbows dropped, holding the ball, literally holding the ball. And your mind to be on the, between the center of your palms. Just place your intention there. And place your breath there as well. Placing your mind between your palms, you are reaching this state of no mind. Moving to the wrists center of the wrists. So like the hands, you just move the ball to the center of the wrists. Focus and breathe. Just 
Slide the center line of your body. To achieve the no mind state. Ball between the forearms. Between the elbows. between the shoulder blades and between the shoulders. Still holding the big ball. Between the hips. Between the knees. Between the ankles. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, fingers. Holding the ball. Okay, so the ball is now touching the first layer of your skin on the inside of your arms. Now move it into the bones, into the marrow. Then to the first layer of your skin. To the surface of your skin. All over your body if you can. And in the beginning, this is enough. Trying to feel the ball on the surface of the skin all over your body. Okay, and now moving outside of your skin into the space around you.
finding the state of no mind. Everything loose, released, relaxed. Lower down. Still maintaining the ball outside of the body. And then relax, 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 relax. Still you'll feel a little bit of resistance between the palms. Press on the feet. Inhale. Press on the feet. Just try to open all the joints at the same time. One more. Press, hold, open. And then release, relax. Okay, good. Soften. Massage. Dropping the kidneys. Massage your kidneys. Okay, big circle. Church. Okay, stretch. You go over and we go under. Change, look it over, and we go under. Two. Keep your ear lined up with your shoulder. Third one.
Okay, moving. And slightly wider. Sitting a little bit. So this one, song gong number four, head push back, make sure spine is lined up with the back of the head and the tailbone. Ah, okay, big open. And round. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, push, squats slightly, long gym, push, okay, body goes back. Holding from the hips. Let the spine release and let go. Head and neck release and let go. As much as you can. Settling into the posture. Okay, swing from the hips. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, pause. Shake. Shaking the waist. Okay, and then pause. Okay, and then rib cage. Good, can we just stop? Squat down, push up. Rising up. Release. Shoulders. change. Okay, 
Good. Get in slightly. Just a little bit closer. Okay, so here, push head back, put the chin. So as I'm sinking my weight down, head is up, sinking my weight down, and letting the weight drop to my feet. Press on the feet, long chin. Release. Sinking, dropping. Release down, keep the mind up. Press. Third one. Sink and drop. And press. Okay, and then as we drop, we fold from the elbows. Press from the feet. Feel the release. Sinking. Press. Sink. Keeping the head upright. Press. Sink. Press. Sink. Press. Sink. Press. Sink. Press. Okay, now fling the arms. Turn the body. Keep the head upright. So the widest stance again, back to song gong number four. So we've done two and three. Head back, line up spine, sinking, dropping through. Press. Two. Three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, press, sink. Press, sink, hold, release the back, release the spine. 
Release the head, release the neck. Swing from the hips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, shake, shake the waist, release the spine, release the back, release all the muscles holding you. Okay, pause. Straighten the legs a little bit. Okay, swinging. Be pads into the ground. Okay, and rise. And up. Okay, good. Okay, now a little bit of uh, balance. Okay, so just find a wall. Yeah, find a wall. Can you put your knee on the wall? Or wardrobe okay, knee goes up it goes up tuck chin and then release from the top of the head downwards Top legs. And release. Okay, and then lining your body up with the wall. Wider posture. Okay, touching the head to the wall. 
lengthening through the spine. Okay, maybe holding about there, all parts of your back touching the wall. Hands on the hips. Tuck chin. Okay, hands come out, let's slide back up. Hopefully a bit more graceful than that. Okay, and move out. And so we're trying to align the spine, align the back of the neck to line up with the spine. Okay, good. Okay, just standing, Wuji stance again. Try and feel the center line of your body. Try and feel the ball on the center line of the body expanding outwards in front of you. So it fills the chest and the shoulders. So between the shoulders, between the elbows, between the wrists and between the forearms. Sink into the ground. Find the connection to the ground and let the energy rise up to the shoulders and down through your arms. And again from the floor. Up to the shoulders, down through your arms. So you have like this kind of this kind of motion from the ground going outwards. So this would be the motion if I was to exaggerate it and you rises up your back comes out through the shoulders down the center line of the body so this is the center line away from the body not inside the body but away from the body so you sink down press slightly guide the energy out like a ball outwards okay sinking Dropping the chi and pressing, send the energy out. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we're trying not to create 
stiffness in the body, but nice, loose, relaxed. Nice, loose, relaxed. The pressing from the feet, which gives us our elasticity. Sending the wave out. So the slow, sinking, pressing. So you can feel between your palms, keep your mind in the surge going upwards and outwards, upwards and outwards. This is how you train your mind and your energy to move outside of yourself, opening the fascia, opening all the joints at the same time. Gently and slowly. Okay, and then open all the joints. Feel what happens when you open all the joints and you press on the floor at the same time. Hold the feeling, hold the flow of energy. Head up. Everything else sinking downwards and it's the sinking downwards with the pressing that creates the new energy ball. Holding just for as long as you can. Okay, and then release. With the energy coming back into your body. So when we release in Tai Chi, whether it is pressing on the floor, to send the arms out, you can use the one punch. So if we use the opposite leg, I press on the leg, my weight transfers. I can use the same leg, and they're all happening at the same time. I can use the opposite leg, I sink and then press straight away, come out, back, or I can use the same leg, press, come back, or I can use both. I can press. Straight away, my arms coming out, doesn't matter. Sink down, press, and coming down. Sink, forearms coming forwards. Yeah, like striking with the forearm. I can use the opposite leg. I can use the opposite leg on the other side. This is a small turn, very, very small turns. And it's like winding up in the punch. One, two, sink, press, release. Yeah, so this movement here. So I'm wound into my right leg, right leg sinking into the floor. My posture is right, my spine is dropped. I press into the floor and then release. The other two happen at the same time. As soon as I press, then the energy comes out. Okay, same as if I press on my if I press on my foot, press on my foot. So I'm pressing on my left foot to develop the, the wave elastic energy through my body. Four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or both. Drop. 
Press, 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 press. Good, new summer next. Okay, we'll do the form <coughs> as best we can. So head, back, chin, tucked, feel the ground. Step. Just go slow. Press. Sing. Turn left. Make shift to the right. Press. Change. And step. One and two. Turning. Turning. Lift. And down. That's it. Close to the body, not touch. Shift. Shift. Step. Step. One and two. shape in the arms. One and two. Feet, heels parallel. Weights on the left leg. Hands lifted maybe a little bit more. But keep the elbows right there pushing out over the knees. Turn a little bit left. Change. 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 Lazily tying rope. Head back. When the head back and the chin tucks, you'll feel the weight dropping through your spine quite nicely. Changing. Turning. Sinking. Here, let your body just do all of the work. Now they stay dropped down. Sniffing. One and two. See my knee turn to the front, my left knee. Change. Two. Sinking right through right leg. Lift. Holding balance. Step and slide out. 
one, two, turn in right foot. Three. Okay, make sure knees are solid. Lower the right one slightly. Sinking through the posture. Elbows pretty much lined up with your knees. Weight mostly in the left side. Here you're going to have to push your head back, tuck your chin, let the spine drop as much as you can. Change weight. Left to open right hand. Change, turn out the left foot, turn your body, turning in the hip. Step, step out. One and two. Weight on the left leg. <clears throat> Weight on the left leg. Again, elbows line up with knees. Okay, we turn out the right foot. And we step. Position the head over the spine, white crane spreading its wings. If the head's in the right place, the hip should line up with the center of the foot. Change one. Turn on left toes. Change weight, one and two. Three, see here the elbows come down. And we stay there. Okay, we step and we push out. And then we drop the right one. We change. We turn it in the right. One. Clear. Up. Open. The right hip opening. Shoulder, hip, knee, close the same time. Turn. See us yank. Sink, drop straight down. Step inwards. Rise outwards. Low sheet. Lift. And step one. And step two. <coughs> and step three. To the right, to the left. One, two, strike, change, change. Change, but don't lift the shoulder. Turn in the right foot. Left hand under right elbow. Gautama, high pattern hops. Step. Step. Slightly more weight on the right leg. Step. Okay, 
Okay, lift, strike, push on the right foot. Change. Right hand, right foot, follow, come down. One, head back, chin tucked, two, three, step, step again, step three, turn the right side, left heel, cloud hands, just the head, so for the spine, step. One and two. Slight adjustment. And step. And elbows are dropping. Stepping one, two, three, step in, <coughs> down, the hands come up, and fire, open. And now your left foot. Turn out your left foot. Down. Up. On it. Just do that <coughs> last section again. This time with me facing you so you can see where my hands are. I just have to flip it around in your head. So firstly, note the position of my knee. My knee is going straight forwards. Right. I'm on the ball of my foot. My weight is on my right leg. So this gout hammer, high pattern horse, head is back, chin is tucked. Spine is dropping straight down. Okay, so as the heel comes down, I change the weight. Step in. Step out. Back to the left. Change the weight right. Turn in the left foot slightly. Sink down, position the head, position the spine. Change and cross hands. <coughs> All the weight dropping through the right leg. Shoulder, elbow, sinking. Lifting. Stabilize head, kick, one and two, left hand covers the face, right hand, right foot step, step with the right foot, turn on the heel, and then out. Down, hands are up. And here you want hands to come up and land. 
same position. Lift. Head is back, chin is tucked. Strike. Step. See the elbow drop. Step once. Step twice. Left hand lowers. We step round. The fingers facing inwards. We step left first. One. Cloud hands. Two. Three. So on our third step, we turn on the ball of the foot and we find the right heel, we find the left heel. All the way around. One and two. Step, 45 degrees. Step the foot in, drop the hands down. Head is up, chin is tucked, spine is resting. Body slightly turning. Press. Step. In. Lift slightly. Strike, turn out the left foot. Step, drop, lift, and drop. Yeah, just that last little bit from here. Step, we land on the heel. We turn. And we drop. Lose this kick. Kick. Find your balance. Head up. Step. Again, 45 degrees. And in, weight is in the right leg, weight still in the right leg, weight more in the left now, change, turn out left foot, open, left foot, Step in, small step out. One and two. And if I'm more in front of the camera, you can just see. The weight is back, the head is back, the chin is tucked. Okay, now one hand rises, one hand drops. One and two. Okay, as I sink through my left, my hand and my knee close together and then drop so there's one two one two find the correct posture okay good i go back to our wuji standing Find your halo first. Yeah, your body must hang from your halo. So let me find the energy. We drop through the energy, making sure that the energy bathing every single part of your body all the way down to your feet. 
Find the ball between the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the hands, the fingers, the thighs, the knees and the ankles. Okay, and then just rise the hands up. Just the hands, let the elbows float out slightly, but they still drop down. Okay, last final posture. Head back, chin tucks. Put your mind between the palms. Spread the feeling there to the wrists and the forearms. Wrist, forearms, and elbows. Hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, between the shoulders.
you can just see the whole of your body is light. And then the balls is engulfing the whole of your body. So it's just a ball of light standing, connected to the earth, connected to the sky, connected to all of the elements in front of you, behind you, your left and right, above and below. Okay, good. Bring your mind into your body. Into your dancian. Wash the front of your body. Nine times. the back of your body nine times. Good, and in the centre, your bones and your marrow. Okay, bring palms together. Okay, good. Okay, right hand, left hand. Well done, people. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Sincerely, for joining my classes and for supporting me as well.
and I will see you next time. Well done. <laughs>